Welcome everyone. Today we are solving problem 7.57 from Sadiko book. The problem says find I1 t and I2 t uh, for t is greater than 0. Okay. Now the switch is open currently and switch will be closed when t equals to 0 t is greater than 0. Okay. So let's just calculate for t is less than 0. For t is less than 0 the switch is open right switch is open. Let's just use source transformation for these two then it will be plus minus 30 volt and this will be in series with 6 or we can just write it as here 6 ohm and it will be 5 ohm and let's just replace this inductor with short circuit because it is in steady state mode so short circuit and here it will be it will be 5 ohm All right. so in this it will be 20 ohm and let's just replace this with short circuit as well short circuit so this the total current of circuit is i equals to v by r equivalent so what is the value of voltage it will be 30 divided by what is the value of r equivalent for r equivalent here 5 and 20 are in parallel so it will be 4 their equivalent 4 and 6 are in series so their equivalent will be what 10 so 30 divided by 10 equals to 3 ampere let's just calculate i1 through this i1 0 and i2 0 for this right i10 for this i1 i20 for this so using current divider i10 will be what i10 will be using current divider it will be 20 divided by 20 plus 5 into 3 the total current so it will be uh, ultimately calculating uh, 20 divided by 25 into 3 so it will be 2.4 it will be 2.4 and the rest current i2 will be 3 minus 2.4 it will be 0 0.6 ampere right for now calculate for 0 point uh, for t is greater than 0 for t is greater than 0 let's see for t is greater than 0 this switch will be closed if the switch is closed then the whole current will pass through this and this and this and this then they will be returning to this terminal again so there will be no current flow in 6 ohm and there will be no current flow through i1 and i2 so now i1 infinity will be 0 i2 infinity will also be 0 okay now for i1 for i1 for i1 or first inductance we can calculate tau tau equals to what l1 by r1 right so for this inductor what is the value of l1 2.5 okay 2.5 what is the value of r1 5 because the whole current is going through this and we are not considering this as our inductance current so it will be 2.5 divided by 5 so it will be 1 by 2 and same also for tau 2 it will be it will be tau 1 for i2 because there are no current is flowing through this or this so this wouldn't be we, this wouldn't be this will not we are considering as the circuit element so for i2 tau equals to l2 by r2 so what is the value of l2 the value of l2 is 4 divided by what is the value of r2 this will be 20 so it equals to 1 by 5 so now the equation will be i t equals to let's i'm just i'm just writing this equation all together as we know i t equals to what i infinity plus i naught minus i infinity into e to the power minus t by tau so what is the value of i infinity i infinity equals to zero and i naught equals to what i naught equals to 2.4 so for the first equation it will be 2.4 e to the power minus t divided by half which will be ultimately t by 2 ampere this is the answer for i1 t let's just write this i1 t and for the i i2 t it will be i naught e to the power minus t by tau so i naught 0 0.6 0 0.6 e to the power minus t by tau so minus t by tau equals to minus 5t minus 5t it will be answered ampere okay this both will be answered for 5.7.57 i i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you very much